Ladies and gentlemen, it's me, James Swinney, and don't call it a comeback, because I'm no longer in Sin City. I'm back in the city that never sleeps, my hometown in the backdrop, the New York Stock Exchange, and I'm ready to get the weekend started. I'm sure you are too. So let's get this report kicked off then, because it's 4 o'clock, the markets are closing, and it's time for a weekend happy hour here in the Big Apple. Now stocks, they are lower this Friday as banks give up their initial gains, but the major average is still on track to post strong weekly gains. Citigroup, Wells Fargo, JP Morgan Chase, all reporting quarterly earnings and revenue that beat analyst expectations. Bank shares initially trading higher before falling more than 2.5% as strong results already priced in. Now despite today's decline in those banking shares, the major averages staring down strong gains for the entire week. The Dow Jones S&P 500 both up nearly 2% week to date this Friday, while the Nasdaq rising more than 2.5%. Markets also been on edge in recent days after President Donald Trump appeared to, to, appear to criticize the Kremlin for supporting Syrian President Bashar Assad following a suspected chemical attack last weekend. Concerns about a trade war with China also lingering after the Wall Street Journal reported, citing officials familiar with the matter, that the Trump administration is planning to lift up trade pressure on China through new tariffs and also by threatening to block Chinese technology investment right here in the United States. Meanwhile, there was economic news today. The University of Michigan's Consumer Sentiment Index that fell to 97.8 in April from 101.4 in March. And when you combine all of this with a rise in gold and also another surge in oil, let's take a look to see how the markets are shaping up to close out this, the final trading session of the week. And with that stated kickback, relax, and I've got one sports note that I've got to speak about. Let's go Mets. How about them? 10-1. and one. Fingers crossed that this continues. Highly unlikely, but you know what? I'm still a Mets fan. And also, stay tuned to Modern Wall Street for not just the week ahead, ahead of this report, but also a series of great interviews I did this week at NAB 2018 in Las Vegas. I know you'll like them. For Modern Wall Street saying have yourself a wonderful weekend, I'm James Swinney.